you know, you're, you're saying that he was struggling with with dating. Like, had he had he tried other things before? As you know, yeah, he he tried the the traditional apps out there. Like, I think he tried Tinder, and I don't know if I don't think Hinge was as big back then. But he definitely tried Tinder. Didn't didn't find any success. Um, found it very difficult to to connect with people and found it very, sure. um, based on what he shared with me, challenging to understand when to disclose, if to disclose, how to disclose. Yeah. Yeah. Never suppose- really knew if he should be doing it or, you know, it was, I think it was just, it, it adds a layer of, of, of things to, to navigate, mm-hmm. which isn't to say it's, it's unnavigatable. You know, I think, there's certainly success. I think there's success to be found anywhere, depending on what you're looking for and who you are. Um, sure. But for him specifically, it was challenging. Mm-hmm. So I guess you know one one thing that sort of separates autistic people from neurotypical in dating is understanding the unwritten social codes and. I've I've found talking to my friends who who use dating apps that they're, they're neurotypical that they just kind of they they understand the process a bit more like it's it's more of a natural thing for them you know for for me you know I I used to be extremely socially awkward and extremely like shy and I really struggled with the the communication and social and uh, and emotional aspects. And it, it took me a long time to sort of build up my my skills and understanding of myself and other people. And it was only until I'd done all that work that I started to kind of understand the framework of, you know, how, how dating works and, you know, what boundaries I need to put down and, you know, things of that nature. And I always felt like, I always felt a little bit, uh, you know, in, in open water, you know, I trying to adapt as much as I can, but, you know, f- still, you know, falling under the surface and it's, I find it, it's, it's very, very difficult because the, the, the psychology as well with dating apps and, and meeting people online is, is very different to meeting people in real life through hobbies and things like there's, there's a clear sort of, you connect with people, talk about things, and oh, they're mm, they're quite attractive. I'd quite like to go on a date with them, and then you you go on a date with them. Like, not saying that that's easy, <laughs> but you know, there's it's it's very different to just swipe, swipe, swipe. Oh, there's a match, right? I'm going to text them. How can I fully understand how this situation works, and you know, get a get a date. <laughs> Go on it, and then what happens after? I don't, I don't know. With the only time that we've interacted with each other is in the, in you know once in person, and then messages, and you know, I, it's all very complicated and um, very hard to to understand the the process of and and work with it um, as an autistic person. Yeah, it, it's you know, I think the the core of why we exist and, and why why Hiki is out there is, is so that you don't have to subscribe to those social norms and those unwritten yeah. rules of communication and you know to, to put it simply you, you don't have to mask when you're on Hiki. You you can just that is, that is very important. You can just be who <laughs> be whoever you are. And that's you should come. That's that's exactly who you should be. Mm-hmm. And I suppose, con- considering that you know it's it's for autistic people, you don't have to. Well, it's yeah about masking and mask masking. Not not even in the sense of talking and interacting with someone. It's more like you know, if I was to create the the perfect profile for myself, it would be including all my special interests and what I do and like and you know, from, from experience, that kind of thing doesn't work. And it's just pick the photos that you look most, most attractive in and 
you know, try and talk in their language as much as you can. <laughs> and then maybe, and maybe when you meet up with them, you can sort of say I'm autistic and sort of let the mask slip a bit, but you're just going straight to it. Like, this is me. This is the autistic me. You're autistic. <laughs> you know, we've, we, we know the, the ins and outs of, um, things that that won't be like required or optional questions on on mainstream dating sites yeah perhaps that's right that's that's it man that's that's exactly why why we're here so that you don't have to exhaust yourself doing all those things you can just you can just be you brilliant you know, just to kind of round up the, the the main questions that I had, where do you hope to take Hiki in the future? Do you have any grand plans that, that you're aspiring to or your team is aspiring to? Uh, 